What up folks, KUT here again with another KUT Productions video. This will be my last video on the RZA vs DJ Premier battle that took place last Saturday night. I just want to um, clear up my six ties. I thought it was seven, but it was six. Um, one was uh, Triumph over Represent, which is the right um, which is the right pick. Triumph is definitely a stronger track than Represent. Represent is dope by DJ Premier. But anyway, I just want to get into my top, and get into my six ties. Because I had it 10-10, uh, RZA 10, Premier 10. That's the way my score came out with the uh, six ties, as you know. So a lot of people did not like my six ties. Um, I had verbal intercourse and I had um, mass appeal. I had, that's a tie to me. But let me go through them from the top. So Out the Gate, Liquid Swords versus A Million and One Questions by Jay-Z. I tied that. To me, that's a tie. Liquid Swords is a powerhouse of a beat. It's dope, it's raw, it's original, it's fresh, all that. But to me, they are tied because A Million, that, that chopped up a piano track by um, Premiere with the Aaliyah sample in there saying A Million is dope. And then the remix version, the track breaks off, it stops at like the two minute mark, then the other part of the beat come in. There's another track in there that is real, real cold and Jay-Z keeps spitting. It's a dope, dope song. And it's a dope beat. Both of them are, they're powerhouses. Liquid Swords is dope. To me, that is my first tie. A lot of people, nobody say anything about that one, but they left me alone on that one, but that's my first tie. So next up, I have Protect Your Neck and Live In Proof. Another tie. Don't get me wrong, it could have went to uh, RZA, but Live In Proof is groundbreaking, solid, hardcore work by DJ Premier, to me. And so is Protect Your Neck by RZA. When that first came out, that sound was so, that was totally new. That was just a whole new raw sound by RZA. And the Wu-Tang Clan, when it first dropped way back, and like B-Side was Method Man, it was just crazy, crazy time. Crazy time in hip-hop. The Living Proof is a strong track by DJ Premier. So that's my second tie. So coming up next was Cold World versus Devil's Pie. Jizz's album on that uh, Liquid Swords. Cold World was on there with the singing hook. Real dope song, dope track. Another one by um, RZA. And then we had Devil's Pie, the D'Angelo track. That bass line and um, just D'Angelo just doing what he do on there. The content of the song is dope. It was on the Belly soundtrack. Um, check that out. Tie. That is a tie. People didn't really, they ain't nobody really mind that one too much, but I tied that up. Um, because they were both strong tracks, both got singers and just some singing hooks. Um, Jizzle was rhyming on the other one, and Devil's Pie is more um, just R&B, but real raw. And uh, Cannabis turned that beat down um, from Premiere, but Cannabis should have taken that beat. But it kind of fit the, I don't know if it fits Cannabis or not, but anyway, that's beside the point. But that was my uh, another tie. Then I had, this is where people really didn't like, my verbal intercourse and Nas is like, tie. Yeah. That is a tie to me. Verbal intercourse is a monster nuclear bomb of a beat. And to me, Nas is like is too. The way he comes in with just the drums. Nas, 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 Nas. Y'all know how it sounds. And then when Premier finally dropped the sample in there and Nas started rhyming, to me, that's just as strong as verbal intercourse. Go listen. Put them on. Go listen to both tracks. And then comment below. And also like, share, subscribe to the channel. Man, I'm going to come back with some more strong stuff, some hip hop stuff. But... Yeah, go listen to those two tracks and you tell me they're not a tie. Verbal intercourse is mean, yes. It's mean and Nas's verse on there is mean. I, there's no way I could throw one over the other. That is a tie. So next up, here's another controversial one. Cream and Mass Appeal. Tie. That's my other tie that some people did not like. Even some friend of mine, we talked about it. Um, they only ain't like that, but Cream and Mass Appeal is a tie. Don't get me wrong, and it's it's dope, like Cream is casual with everything around me and then Mass Appeal um, is about artists wanting, and the, the whole crossover culture and artists wanting this fame and wanting this glory and wanting all that. So they're like yin and yang songs, they're both strong. Um, Cream is about to come up, about the struggle, about you know, casual with everything around me, Cream get the money, you know, just that whole struggle song, it's dope. Then the other one's just the opposite ends of the spectrum. To me, I tie those up, that's a tie to me. And production, we can look at the beat. That intro to Cream is dope, don't get me wrong, that is, is strong. And then they, when it finally drops and they get into their rhymes, and then the chorus, it's dope. And Mass Appeal is just the, the classic premiere scratching the hook. It's the youngsters out of Philly, you know, the hip hop group, you know, they came out back in the days. To me, that's my other tie, um, production wise and song wise, the tie. Love both of them, tie. Then my last tie is Wu-Tang Clan, ain't nothing to F with. 
versus the Crooklyn Dodgers return. I love my jazz tracks, I love when Premier, I love the piano play, it's just Crooklyn Dodgers return. Go make sure you hear that. If you don't know that song, go listen. Throw that in there. Make sure you play the return, because the other one, the original one's by uh, Q-Tip, the original version, but Premier did the remix. And it's this piano track with three hits of the triangle in there, a little bit of instrument triangle, if you know what that is. But Wu-Tang Clan, nothing to F with, is a strong, strong beat. It's the anthem, national anthem, and hip hop. <laughs> one of them when it comes to the Wu-Tang Clan. But that's my other tie, that's my six ties. This is probably the last time I talk about the RZA versus DJ Premier battle that took place. Um, a lot of people have RZA winning. I have it, you know, as a tie. I had 10 for Premier and 10 for RZA with six individual ties. To me, it was that close, because both of their work is that strong. To me, and I like both equally. Like I said, and I told you in another video, I got Wu-Tang stuff, I got Gangstar stuff. So, that's my uh, that's my uh, take on it. That's my six uh, picks. If you don't, you know, let me know. Drop your comment below. And also, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. We'll come back with some more stuff. And we out of here, y'all. I'm KUT. All right, peace. <laughs>